Yobachi 2007 back at you with another one. Let's listen to this woman in the nonsense she's about to give us about why she gave back her engagement ring to this guy who she calls the perfect man. Yeah. That's what we're going to listen to. Then we'll come back with some commentary. So earlier this year, I ended a relationship and cut off an engagement from a great, a great man. He was a good man. He loved God. He was a praying man. He loved and adored me. He was there for me. He was handsome. He was well-educated. He didn't have any kids. He checked all the boxes. But there was still something missing. All right. So here we go starting off. Again, there's not a man out here good enough for the modern woman. You can be all and you can be everything and still you just don't quite measure up. There's just something missing. Like in this other video, this one here that I did on how and why women are turning men into passport bros. Listen to this foolishness. I'm going to say something and this mm -hmm. might ruffle little feathers. I don't think just being a good man is enough. <laughs> To be to stay in okay. a relationship with them. But when I say a good man, I mean like he's I don't, it's, good all that means all around. That means himself, spiritually, mentally, physically. That's great. Healthily, but like he's a good man. That doesn't mean that he's the man for you. Sound familiar? Sound familiar to you? More of the same nonsense. Being a good man in every way, shape, form, and fashion isn't good enough for a modern woman. And you're going through these motions of getting to know him you're realizing okay he's a great person but honestly he don't he i don't f with his humor like he could be funny but and he's that's not funny and to that's me. why a lot of modern or, women are getting 40 with 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 four cats and no man so the one chick is on point good man but because he not I funny you gotta right you gotta throw right that out so this is this is what you get these days this is the clown show this is the utter nonsense of these cluttered minded women and what they're talking about and what they're trying to come with. It's mind boggling. You could take a minute though, if you wouldn't mind uh, taking a moment to like this video up, I would really appreciate it. it Help send us through the algorithm. Also, if you would hit the subscribe and with that, we're gonna get back to the video, but make sure you hit the like and go back to the program. So back to woman A, let's hear about the reasons why the perfect man just isn't good enough for her, just doesn't meet her high standards for what she deserves, for what um, she brings to the table, which I have no idea what that is, which is probably not much, because she sure as hell hasn't told us. And I just knew that I could not go through with this marriage. There was just something that did not connect. I, I felt that there was some, should have been a connection between he and I in order for me to be his wife. So she's looking for a supernatural, magical connection. Some, some pixie dust to fall from the sky and magically make you have some otherworldly, earthly feelings. And this is the thing that that relationships are made of this is what making a life is made of in her mind she's watched too many disney princesses on disney fairy tales and from dime store novel uh soap opera based shows that the man comes in the room they look at each other from across the room and with a glance and a stare they fall deeply in love and he strokes her face with just the right touch and just the right motion and music plays and life is just magical and you're gonna find magical love because that's what love's about not commitment not understanding not devotion but pixie dust magic from disney fairy tales that's what it's all about and so I cut off the engagement and it was so difficult because he was a good man. It's easy when a person is not good. You can, you can justify why you cut things off, but when a person is truly a good person, it's hard to explain. So I found myself trying to explain it to family and friends and they were asking me a whole bunch of questions that, you know, I, I could not say, you know, exactly why other than the fact that I just did not feel the connection. There was something that was not there that I needed to be there in order for this to be my husband. There's something that's not there 
is something that's missing, not connecting between your ears. That's the problem. And when you see women talking like this, they start doing this, this finger to chin stuff. This whole mannerism, this whole sassy mannerism right here um, should put you off on women right away. This is just such a ugh, move. Uh, and, and it goes to a mind state. It, it's, it's representative of a mind state. Um, and, and that's one of the real problems with it. And it's the mind state of women who talk like this and who act like this, who think that the world revolves around their ego and this kind of maniacal thing where they just think that there is an endless pool of wonderful men who are, um, you know, GQ models, six foot plus, make a bunch of money, going to jump when they want them to jump because that's what they really want. They want a honey do list guy who's going to do what women want them to do and uh, pay their way through life. These women are supposed to not have to do anything. And he's got to be a comedian, like the last woman said, and make you laugh. And just everything has to be some perfect thing. And on top of that, you have to be a, uh, a, a afternoon soap opera mystical man. And you have to be edgy. And it, it, it just goes on and on. And they deserve what they get. And what they get is a house full of cats in the end. That's where these women end up. And that's where they deserve to end up. The more and more I say. That's where they deserve to end up. It's not going to work out well for her. It doesn't work out well for any of them who make these kind of absurd demands that are baseless and based on nothing. Watch this continued uh, finger to the chin garbage and let this be a tale to tell you to run away from women like this. The mentality you, that she's given you is the mentality that goes along with that kind of hand gesture. And so... I stopped trying to explain it and I just trusted my decision and I went on. But then I got an epiphany and it was just like, have you ever been shoe shopping and you saw a nice pair of shoes and it's like, oh, I love the color. I love the style. The heel is the right size and it's a reasonable price. Like it's on sale and it's a good shoe. But then when you approach the shoe, you see that it's a size six and you need a size seven. Does it take away from the fact that the shoe is a good shoe? Does it take away from the fact that you're getting a great deal for the pro for, for the quality? Does it take away from the fact that the heel is still the right size? It doesn't matter. All of that still makes the, the shoe is still good. But if it's not your size, it's not the shoe for you. This woman is bat spit crazy. <laughs> Just absolutely insane and this is why i don't feel sorry for any of these women out here who can't make rent i don't want to hear about how black men aren't marrying black women look this brother tried and look what he got he, and why he tried to marry this is beyond me uh his fault that he got burned because he's a fool in the first place but i don't want to hear about black men not stepping up I don't care if these women got two, three, four kids getting put out on the street corner because they can't make rent because they refuse to cooperate with the man. I don't want to hear about anything about anything. This is why men are leaving. This is why brothers are grabbing their passports. This is absolutely insanity that nobody can deal with. I'm going to get on up out of here on this one, just like brothers are getting up on out of the U.S. to go get some real women who want to be wives, who have any kind of sense whatsoever. And as I make my way out, again, don't forget to like this video up. Help send me through the algorithm. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you make sure you get that next heat. Yobachi 2007. I'm out.